Welcome back, everybody, to the NBA 2K22 My NBA Expansion Series with the Scouts. We are two games through the NBA Finals, and the series is tied at one game apiece going into Seattle for a two-game road trip. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit sick right now, but that's okay. We're going to keep on going, and hopefully I uh, don't sound too sick on the microphone, but it's whatever. But uh, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy these videos. And um, I think before we start, I want to make one more lineup change in addition to what we made uh, changes to after game two, which did not go our way. I'm going to completely bench Wade Webb right now. And this is because we have Westbrook coming off the bench, who is pretty much a better version of Wade Webb. He just takes more shots, and there's no point in having two shooting guards who have a similar skill set on the floor at the same time. And this can also give us more minutes for some other players. I'm also going to lower Bridges' minutes down to 10. I'll put Cartwright's up to 10. And I want to increase minutes for Jackie McKnight a little bit. I'll also increase them for Mullen back up to 10. And... Um, I'll also give two more to Westbrook. I think this is just better for us to have a nine man lineup because then a starter is, is, is always out there, which is preferred. And uh, hopefully this can help us. I, I, I do think that trying a new lineup after a loss is important because we really have not been the, the better team in either game. Um, I don't think that we were the better team in game one either. I think that we just... Uh, we had a couple of good moments down the stretch because uh, in both games we have had uh, a double digit deficit to Seattle in those fourth quarters. One of which we came back from, the other we did not. So we're going to see if we can do this um, today and uh, on the road in Seattle. Um, this might also be, I forgot to uh, talk about this a while back, but this could be like I guess our wait. Our, this year could be that one year window where we have the best shot of winning. I think right now we have the best team we've ever had. And I think that this might not be the case next season because if you look at our finances and you look at our salary cap breakdown, there are a couple of key players that aren't on a contract next year. And those players are Ronnie Jordan and Roy Valentine. Two of our big three, we have to re-sign. And they're both gonna want more than they have been paid so far. So we're gonna have to make some trades in the off season. We're gonna have to make some really tough choices here um, if we're gonna bring them back, which we are going to do that, but it's gonna be tough. So this could be our best shot and I think that if we win at least one game on the road, just one game on the road, they are undefeated at home this playoff run. But if we could just get one game off of them and win our home games, then we're going to win this series. So this game and game four are important. If we come out of this in a 2-2 two -to -two series, that is fine by me. So here we go. Game three in Seattle. Let's go. We are at the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. It's their first home game of this final series. We will start with the ball. It's won the tip by Valentine. Jordan, his first game at shooting guard, I think all year. And he drives and scores. We got to see him be more aggressive. If Jordan can be very aggressive and efficient, then we have a very good shot at winning this game. Ben Simmons now. He gets inside and dunks. Weaver tries to find Jordan. The pass was a little bit too early. And Williams stole it. And now Simmons scores again. We have had some problems guarding the paint against Simmons and against Tracy Cardinal. Those two guys have lived inside the paint the whole series. Weaver with it. Simmons guards the screen pretty well. The pass to Valentine. He fades away and hits the shot. And now Banks inside. The layup is good. Weaver 
a defensive lapse. All points so far for both teams have come inside the paint. Weaver has banks on him. He wants to drive. That's a tough layup. It's tipped. How do we not grab that rebound? Scotty Barnes drives. He just is too fast right now for Big Roy. We saw that a, a couple of times there in game two. And we're quickly down 8-4. to four. Jordan wants to attack the rim. And Banks just cannot guard him. Scotty Barnes drives again. Again gets past Valentine. And he posterizes Jamal Harris. We might have to make a switch there. I think that Barnes is just uh, too quick for Big Roy. We'll, we'll see how the rest of... Uh, these next couple minutes go before we make a change there on defense. And now Valentine gets open down low. Nice pass there by Jordan and Valentine gets the dunk. A lot of points early on. Now Williams inside over Harris. That bucket is good. They have not missed a shot yet and we are, we are four for five. And now this pass intercepted by Clint Capella. Another turnover by the scouts. And now a mismatch down low there for Simmons. The help defense comes, but then it goes away and Simmons has six points. They have not missed. Jordan, that's a bad shot. Valentine gets the board, pump fakes. And then he's stripped and it's stolen by Ben Simmons. Come on. Banks wide open for three. How does that happen? And we're down 17 to 8, and we call timeout. Defense has been nowhere for us. Jordan to Weaver. Weaver, that's a contested shot, and it rims out, and he's ice cold from the field right now. We cannot have another slow start for him as Jordan blocks that shot by Banks. That's good. It's actually off of Banks, so our first actual stop on defense. Good job. Ronnie Jordan off a screen, wants to drive, he steps back, fires his open shot, and he knocks it down. This is what we need from Ronnie Jordan. If he can take over on both sides of the court, we are in business. Scotty Barnes working on Valentine, he drives, and Valentine right now is having trouble guarding him, and I think right now I'm going to make a change on defense. Okay, defensive settings. Um, I'm cool with this. I'm Ben Simmons, Corey Banks. I'm fine right now with Weaver guarding him. Glenn Williams. Ah, oh, this is tough. I think I want to put... I want to put... Roy Valentine on Glenn Williams now. And... Scotty Barnes, I believe, is 6'8". And I think that Harris is also 6'8". And he's also quicker. So we'll put... Uh, Jamal Harris on him and see how he can do. And then on Capella, we'll keep on Jackie McKnight. And we'll see if this can impact uh, the Seattle offense at all. And now we throw the ball right to Capella. What are we doing? A couple of passes have just gone wayward. And now Scotty Barnes missed the shot, but Weaver apparently fouled him on the shot. So free throws for Seattle. Scotty Barnes has been electric so far for the Supersonics. Barnes knocks down both. We're down by 11. In game two, the offense was the issue. Now it's the defense. Weaver, a deep three. It's open and he knocks it down for his first points. That's what we need. Scotty Barnes with Harris on him now. He drives and nobody can stop him. He just drives to the rack and nobody keeps up. Jordan lobs it for Valentine. Great pass. Scotty Barnes pulls up. That shot. He finally missed it. Jordan. Contested shot blocks by Capella. Cardinal has checked in for the, the uh, Sonics. And he gets the board there off that Weaver miss. We have a mismatch down low again. Barnes against Weaver. A little hook shot. He missed it. Jordan. Nice pass to Valentine who dunks down low. Ben Simmons wants to attack the paint. He fades away. That shot left short. 
Jordan pulls up. That jumper, no good. Valentine puts it back in. He and Jordan right now are playing fantastic basketball. Scotty Barnes is fouled again. Whenever he gets down low, it's either a make or a foul, it seems like. Barnes' first free throw is good. And again, he goes two for two. Miles Bridges now in for the scouts. So is Westbrook. Open three for him. And he knocks it down. Banks off a screen. Drives. Bridges blocks him. Cartwright and Mullen also in for the scouts. Now five on the shot clock. Westbrook off a screen. Has to pull up. And it's good. And it's now a one point game. Both teams have got off to a hot start, shooting over 64% each. Barnes drives and dunks again. He's too fast. Cart right off a screen. What does he do here? The offense resets a little bit. He lost it. Bridges pulls up for three off the loose ball. It's no good. Banks contested jumper. No good. Cardo got it back and lays that one in. Cartwright, that's not a good shot. And now Rollins gets down low and scores. Lack of communication there on defense. We have not been good in the paint. Mullen, that's a bad shot and it's no good. Serves us right, I guess, for taking a shot like that. Now Banks pulls up for three. Oh, we got lucky to, that he missed that one. Bridges, you have to shoot. Unreal, dude. Unbelievable. Saban Lee off a screen. Drives, hands off to Gilmore. Gilmore scores and was fouled by Mullen. The paint defense has been terrible. They have 26 of their, of their 33 in the paint. And the rest are pretty much at the free throw line, aside from 1-3, and we're down by 10. Westbrook for three. Same spot as last time. He's good again. Banks. Spins. Pump fakes. Got him in the air, but can't finish the play. Miles Bridges backs down Rollins. The tough shot. No good. Not a good look there. Rollins now. Throws it right to Tyler Mullen. Westbrook. Shot off the glass, no good, but Mullen is there for the tip in. And it's back to five. Lee off the Gilmore screen. The tough layup, no good. Good defense there by Big Roy. He's played the entire game so far. Mismatch down low. Bridges has Lee on him. He spits, goes up, and scores. Now it's down to three, and they will have the last shot of this first quarter. Banks, four on the clock, off a screen. He fires, it's an open shot this time, he got it. And the score is 36-31 after one. Seattle leads by five. A high scoring affair, not much defense being played by either team. Start of the second quarter, Westbrook right now is guarding Barnes for some reason, and Barnes scores easily, it seems like. He's already got 16 points, and there's still a whole other quarter to play in this first half. Westbrook drives, it's blocked by Glenn Williams. Barnes working on Ronnie Jordan. Wants to attack the paint and pulls up, and it's no good. Good defense that time. Weaver off a screen, it's a good one. And he takes a bad shot, why? Barnes, over a screen, the three is no good. Westbrook, contested jumper, and it's good. What a shot. Scotty Barnes off a screen, he pulls the trigger. That shot is good. 
We just cannot stop him right now. Weaver. Off a couple of screens. Steps back. Pulls the trigger. That shot. You, you got to make that. It's wide open. Now Barnes. That's a tough shot. Jordan gets the board. Westbrook has it. Five on the shot clock. Goes ISO on Williams. Drives. The floater is good. Barnes. Baseline drive. Easy bucket. 20 points. I'm going to put Ronnie Jordan on him now. Because nothing else is working. We have to find an answer. And what is it? I don't really know. Um, right now, we don't have Harris in the game. So I think on Ben Simmons. I mean, they have a tall lineup out there right now they got like three centers out there so I think on Ben Simmons I will put oh, this is tough let's just do automatic for Ben Simmons and for Corey Banks we'll keep Weaver for Williams we'll keep Valentine for now on Scotty Barnes let's put Ronnie Jordan and see if he can stop this Weaver for three, wide open. It's good, thank God. It's down to four. Just got to put together a couple of stops and you might have a lead here soon. Ben Simmons off a screen. Inside, goes back out. Cardinal for three, no good. And the ball, we got it. That was close. Ronnie Jordan wants to attack Williams. That shot almost blocked from behind by Capella. But it was no good either way. Screen for Simmons. He finds Barnes. Corner three. Wide open. It's good. Jordan. What the hell? 23 points for Scotty Barnes. The pass picked off by Scotty Barnes now. What are we doing? Now Barnes. Open jumper. Again, it's good. 25 for Barnes. Weaver finds McKnight now, and McKnight has the dunk. Ben Simmons gets inside, and nobody even tries to stop him from getting that layup to fall. Nobody even put a hand up. Okay, let's try and shrink the floor. If they hit a couple of threes, then so be it. But we, ha we have got to try something, so we'll shrink the floor. I also, on... Um, Corey Banks going to change off ball pressure to, uh, tight and on ball pressure to tight as well. Just because I don't want him to get any open threes for Glenn Williams. We will do moderates for Scotty Barnes. We'll do moderates. Um, and the rest will have a gap. So hopefully this could do something because right now the defense is not there at all. Harris has checked back in for the scouts. These starters are back out there. McKnight off a screen. Oh no. Valentine, open shot. The range jumper, he can't knock it down. Barnes, he's gonna drive this. He does, and we just can't get a stop. We might have to just uh, double team him. That might have to be what, it, be what happens. Jordan lost the ball. It's stolen by Scotty Barnes. He's everywhere on both sides of the court. Barnes drives. What are we possible? What is happening, dude? All right. Whenever, uh, whenever Scotty Barnes puts the ball to the floor, we're gonna double team him. That's how it's gonna have to work. We've had to make so many adjustments already, man. This is not looking good. And now this play is just, just keeps on not working. They read it every time. That's like three turnovers by Weaver off that play alone. And now Cardinal has the easy bucket. We're down by 15 points. Weaver off a screen. What does he do here? He attacks the rim and it's blocked. He gets it back, goes up, it's blocked again. Another ice cold first half for Weaver. Just six points. And he's two for nine. Williams' shot is no good. Jordan for three in the corner. Got to knock it down. He does. Let's 
Scotty Barnes. Cannot be stopped. We tried the, the uh, double team there, I guess. Not really, though, and it didn't work. And he's got, what, like 30 points now? This is insane. McKnight tries a three. It's open. It's no good. But Mullen gets the board somehow and then has it stolen. Saving Lee. What are, what are we doing? What was that? What was that? The free throw is good. Jordan drives and scores. He's been our best player. Barnes off a screen. Drives. The tough layup. No good this time. That's got to be his first miss inside the paint. Now, caught right inside off the pass from Jordan. That's good. Barnes. This is absurd. 14 for 20 in the first half. What more can I do? We aren't even actually double teaming him. We aren't. Cartwright to Mullen. Now Harris now. Cartwright back with the ball. Pump fakes a deep three. It's no good. Banks. Pump fakes. Now off a screen. Gets in the paint. And can't score. Jordan hands off to McKnight for the dunk. Lee. Drives. The help defense is good. Good stop. Cartwright lobs it for Jordan. And Scotty Barnes just grabs that out of the air. Now Banks, a corner three off the transition play. It's good. We're down by 16 points. A minute and a half to go in this first half. Mullen. Wants to take it himself. The tough shot. Not a good look. The offense, after a good first quarter, has slowed down a lot here in the second. Saban Lee, back out to Banks for three. It's open, it's good. 19 point game. Almost 70 first half points for the Sonics and they'll probably get there before this last 45 seconds are over. This, this same play, Another turnover, right to the hands of Scotty Barnes. This time it was Cartwright making the pass. Banks for three again. No good this time, we got lucky. Jordan feeds Harris, mismatch down low. A double team comes. Back to Jordan, Jordan pulls up. It's good. Final play of the first half. Guess who it's, it's, it's gonna be for. Number four. He pulls up for three. He missed it. We're down by 17 points at halftime. 68 to 51. 68 51. Starts of the third. Here's a crazy stat for you. Aside from the like 33 first half points for Scotty Barnes, the Sonics had 10 steals in the first half. 10. We averaged like I think 13 or 14 turnovers per game. And we had at least 10 in the first half. Banks for three. That one's good. We're down by 20. Just like in game two. Harris. What is that shot? What in the world? Mismatch down low. Ben Simmons spins. Back out to Glenn Williams. Now Scotty Barnes with it. Valentine guarding. Off a screen, he pulls up. The shot is left short. And Capella, of course, is there for the tip in. Weaver left open for three. And he hits it. Williams for three off the off ball screen. It's good. Jordan is double teamed. Weaver again for three. Again, it's good. Banks off a screen. Open three. Never mind, I guess. He missed it. Jordan, nice pass to Valentine, wide open, but he missed the dunk. Weaver gets it back. Good God. Good God. That was just terrible on top of terrible. I'm sorry. Banks, inside, spins, and now is fouled by Weaver on the shot. First free throw is good. He's a 91% free throw shooter. 
And T knocks down both. Harris, contested jumper, no good. Williams, fires, missed the shot though. Weaver, inside, wants to take on some tall players and can't score. Ben Simmons feeds Capella, Capella scores. Westbrook has checked in for uh, Ronnie Jordan for some reason. Not sure why Jordan's taking a rest right now. McKnight gets open down low. And the layup is good. Nice pass there by Valentine. Cardinal fades away. Off the glass. The shot is no good. Harris for three. Rattles out. And now Williams is fouled and got the bucket to fall. To make it a 24-point game. And the free throw by Williams is no good. Westbrook. Has the ball stripped and stolen by Glenn Williams. And now he will take it himself and is fouled again. First free throw is good. Second is also good. Westbrook. <sighs> now a steal here. And then a foul on Seattle. Bridges. Scores down low. Banks scores again and was fouled again by McKnight's. Another and one chance here for the Supersonics. The free throw is good. Weaver fires a three. That one drops. Cardinal. Tough shots. Knights to Westbrook. Westbrook time penny down. Has to force a shot and it rattles out. Mismatch down low for Cardinal. And he scores. Weaver, open three. Scores again. And Simmons has to force a three for the first time like this season. And it's no good. Shot clock violation because of the air ball. Why has Jordan sat out so much this half? Weaver fires a three again. It's no good this time. The minutes still aren't right. Weaver has played as much as I would like him to play so far. As that shot by Williams, no good. But Jordan has not. Valentine missed almost the whole second quarter. I don't like that. And now Weaver feeds Bridges. Bridges backs down Lee, spins, and scores. 20 point game with four to go in the third quarter. Lee heads off to Cardinal. Cardinal scores. Weaver, the layup blocked by Cardinal. Williams now will score on the other end. Westbrook, top of the key three. Defense got there in time to make a miss. Lee fades away. The shot is good. Weaver for three, wide open. It's good. Simmons hands off to Cardinal. Cardinal somehow knocks that down. Williams just bullies his way inside, scores again. 99 points for Seattle. They have shot 60% on the day. Harris, nice take. Last shot of the third quarter will be for Seattle. Ben Simmons goes to Williams. Williams for three. No good. And we're down by 25 after three quarters. 74 for us. 99 for Seattle. Well guys, we are going to jump in here, not going to make us watch the fourth quarter because this game is actually over. Gilmore for three, rattles out. There is barely a shot clock left. We're down 120 to 94. Um, yeah, I can't say that I was uh, 
happy with anything about this game. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty, uh, pretty defeated right now. We just uh, got blown out. This is going pretty similar to the Thunder series from last season. You win game one and then things go downhill from there. Um, 44 points for Scotty Barnes, 18 for 30 from the field. He also had four steals. Um, I think that he barely even played that third quarter. I'm pretty sure he played the first like three minutes and then uh, rested for the rest of the quarter because I mean they did not even really need, need him out there at that point. He came back in for the fourth, got to 40, and uh, yeah. Banks, 21 points, 7 for 15 from the floor. Uh, Glenn Williams, 13 points. Tracy Cardinal, a double-double off the bench. The minutes right here are wrong because I, I uh, sim-casted in the fourth quarter. So that's all whack. Um, ben Simmons, 8, 6, and 12. He had three steals. Glenn Williams had three steals. Lee had two steals. Capella had three steals. They had 15 steals and 10 blocks. Um, we had three steals and five blocks. They had less assists than us and less rebounds, but I guess we had more rebounds because, um, actually, how did we have more rebounds? I'm not even sure. Um, but, uh, 31 for Weaver, but same story as game two. Just, uh, was bad in the first half and then did better in the second. Ronnie Jordan got off to a hot start, but just, uh, couldn't really uh, keep it up, I guess. I mean, he shot well, but wasn't uh, maintaining the aggressiveness that I wanted to see from him. 15-4-6 uh, and six for Westbrook. He had a good first half, and then the third quarter, he was pretty bad. Um, Roy Valentine, 12-17, and 17, but his defense has not been as effective as it was prior to the series. Scotty Barnes kind of is walking all over him which is why I had to make that switch uh, in the first quarter it ended up not making a difference so yeah I'm not sure I think that um the biggest problem for us is that one they have a guy in Scotty Barnes who is tall at 6'7 and yet is the most athletic player on the courts we don't have any guy that's his height. Not, not, not even Roddy Jordan, who's 6'8", is as athletic as as uh, Scotty Barnes is. And so, whenever this dude gets the ball and he wants to drive it, um, he's too quick. Um, he's decisive. He's not waiting for anything. He just sees the rim, attacks it, because he knows that nobody else can keep up with him. And if they can, they're just too short for him to be, be able to make an impact on his shot. Um, yeah, and uh, you saw their lineups out there. They they have like when when whenever Banks is not on the court or Lee's not on the court, he's six two. Banks is like six two, I think. Other than that, there's nobody that's playing that is below six seven. You just have so they have a six eleven point guard with Ben Simmons. They got a seven foot center coming off the bench. They have a, another seven one center coming off the bench. They've got a 6'10 starting center. They've got a 6'10 power forward. Um, they've got a 6'10 small forward. They've got uh, Scotty Barnes, 6'7 power forward. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know how you stop that unless we bring in some guys who have not really played this year. If we look at the heights, um, Harris is 6'8, but it did not matter against Scotty Barnes. Bridges 6'6", six, six, might have to take him completely out of the team right now. 
Uh, we'll keep Wade Webb out. Um, Mullen, his defense has not been good, unfortunately. Um, we could try. I mean, no, we, we actually cannot try Chris Dunn or Randolph Hall because Randolph Hall's defense is not very good at all. Chris Dunn is 35 years old. He's 6'3". Um, Drum Gordon, defense not very good. Um, yeah. Not sure what the solution here is. I thought we would have a closer game with our lineup today, but the first half by Scotty Barnes and then uh, just our paint defense overall was really bad. And they still, I think, shot 50% from three. So... Yeah, wait, no, they shot 35%, but still, they still knock down plenty of threes, enough where it's dangerous to leave them open, but they had 68 points in the paints, so, I mean, not sure what we're supposed to be doing there, I don't know, 18 turnovers to their five, yeah, that sounds right, so, I'm pretty bummed out, I thought that we would uh put up more of a fight. But, I don't know. I don't know. That'll do it here, folks. Sorry about the depressing episode. Uh, but, uh, I mean, what else can you feel right now besides that? So, yeah. A similar trajectory as the Thunder series. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, leave your own thoughts down below. Give me some tips. Give me your uh, lineup suggestions, your game plan suggestions, and uh, we'll take it from there into game four. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.